Hello today and we're going to have a game of Legend of the Exploding Fist. Um, as you can see I think this is a Commodore 64 port of WAP the Exploding Fist. Um, but this has got some interesting features to it. Obviously I obviously think this is a homebrew version because one it came out in 1998 and two why would they use a Commodore 64 port of a game. Um, yeah, okay, what we're going to do, we'll push F1, so this will take us into like a normal player mode, and let's get underway. So we're the white character, so this first bit, oh fuck, this book first is like, um, well, the exploding fist, what it is, um, so we won that easily. So what happens, the game continues. Did I get him? Yes. Right in the bollocks. Right, there's easier moves. There is other moves. Alright, here we go. Here we go, nice kick. I do actually prefer IK Plus. I don't know why I just didn't use IK Plus from the Amiga to do this actually. Um, so that was fantastic. Even the Commodore 64 version was really good. So we lost that. So now we can change the game aspects. Right. I think pushing F8 does fuck all. F9? F ah, blood effects, right. Let's have that on blood effects. So now we can, if we push F2, we can cha change, right, tournament. So that turns it into a tournament. IK plus demo, IK plus one. Right, let's try that. So we're, once again, with a white character. Um, but you don't can't do the flip like so here's the blood effects so it gives it a little bit more effect to the game it looks pretty good actually it looks very violent uh, oh fucking what's happening I couldn't move yeah, yeah I like this <laughs> it's a good game actually um, oh, where did we come oh we through. So what happens when you go to the next level, when you level up, the background changes as well, which is a good touch. Oh, fuck it, come on. Well, I'll come second then, so I'll still carry on. Now we're in a dojo. <laughs> With the sensei behind us. Well, that was fucking, where did we go? Oh, we stood in the match. Um, oh, fucking hell. Where am I this time? Am I still in the match? Yes, still in the match. Oh, come on. Oh, we've got a point on the board. Oh, shit. So, red, red one, that one. Oh, bloody hell. This one's a difficult one. I remember this one. I have had a test run on this. Make sure it all works all right. But this one, you can't really see what you're doing. But lucky we got away with that. <laughs> so, a point on the board. Yes. I wish you could flip back, but that's the fucking wish thing I wish you could do. I know there's a way of flipping something. There we go. Done it. That's it. Can we get in there? <laughs> I like the backgrounds though, it's very nice. Gives it the game a bit, a bit more uh, uh, texture. Um, it's great, I like it. Especially when I win. <laughs> I know it's looped around, but you know, I'm not going to complain too much about it. I mean, we got plenty of backgrounds there. But it is a good game, it is a good game, but... Okay, it's the Commodore 64 port of uh, World Exploding Fist, but... And it is on the Amiga. So I don't know why they couldn't use IK Plus. Um, or redraw the graphics. So I've lost that, so now we're going to choose a different game. Blood, oh, I um, eh? Battle. Did I do that? Let's try that one, actually. <laughs> so this, how come is this two white characters? <coughs> oh, this is going to get confusing. I'm the one that's getting my ass kicked. Because now there's two white characters, sometimes it's going to be difficult to differentiate what one I'm going to be if I get close to him right now. Ah, oh, 
fucking hell, I'm, I'm, I'm out of the game already, I'm out of the game because um, once I've lose, lose all my points at the top, you get your points and your health points at the top, and uh, once you lose your health points, that's it, you've got to wait till all these other guys finish until there's a winner, and I don't think you can quit out of it at all without resetting the game, so I don't want to take no risk about resetting the game. Um, Actually, this is pretty good, and there's a load of different options on it, but I honestly felt like they could have done this on the Commodore 64. Oh, fuck. Now, that was my chair. Excuse me. <laughs> Come on, let's hurry up and get it. So it looks like the blue could win this, because there's only two opponents left. Then again, that white's kicking his ass all of it. Fucking hell. That's better. Kick it. This, this could go either way. Look at this. So when you ain't doing nothing for a while, you just sit and stand in there waiting for the other guy to go up, the points actually start to trickle up, get gaining health. Oh, looks like the white one. Fucking hell, that was good going. So now I can choose another game by pushing F2. Um, we are we battle two, battle, battles, rumble. So when it says D, it obviously means demo. Oh. Bloody hell, I've gone back in a tournament. So that's like A plus, type 2 player, battle D, 1 2, battle S. I wonder what battle S is. Let's try it. Let's try it actually. Bloody hell, get, used to get the controls back to normal. Well, put the controls back to normal this time. I'm trying to look for the controls. So I'm not actually using joystick on this, so I've reconfigured my emulator so the joystick is actually the keys so it makes it a lot easier than the key um, joystick you know what I mean fucking hell I still get my ass kicked ah oh, that's it I've got my ass fucking kicked there yeah I have to say this is excellent I have to say apart from the well you know, I'm just thinking, why is it Commodore 64 graphics on an Amiga? Then, okay, that's probably all they could do. But it done a very good job of it, it's a good playable game. I'm not going to complain about that, I like it, it's enjoyable. It's got every aspect of IK Plus, um, international, uh, what is it called? Wild Exploding Fist, and more, and more of it. But I wish they could have used IK Plus graphics. Because I like the way how the character moved better on IK Plus. I honestly thought IK Plus was a better game than Wild Exploding Fist anyway. But I'm not going to complain too much about that because it's still a good game. Um, just waiting for this tournament to end. So it could go either way. The red. I say the red's going to win it. Even though he's right down. Because I know the white came right back last time. But. Where how is this going to pan out? Now we do get a timer, do we? No we don't, there's no timer, it's fight to the death. But no one's doing anything, no one's hit, no one's hit, so their energy's going up. Oh, red just got hit there, and he got one back. Anyway, I'm not going to wait for this to end, I'm just going to end the review now, because I think I've covered enough on this game. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, till next time, and goodbye.